Yo, what's good with y'all? It's Key Major and I'm back with another video for y'all today. Let me show you guys how to make some insane super trap beats for Rudda. Rudda's been teasing his new album dropping this month, so I decided it was the perfect time to kind of make some super trap. The next video I'm dropping after this, which is gonna be this week as well, is gonna be a melody tutorial on super trap. I know you guys have been wanting that for the longest. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy and learn something new, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's get straight to it. So here we are on the FOP and shout out my boy Crime for the sample. This is from his Venom loop kit. If you guys want any of these type of like super trap melodies, you go cop his kit. But for this beat, I ended up picking the purpose this one. So for this beat, I have three patterns of the first one, second one, and third one, and I just have them copying over for the whole beat. And each one gets a little more complex than the last one. So I'm gonna start with the most simple one, which is pattern one. So when it comes to making super trap beats, the first thing, which is the most important in my opinion, is the sound selection. Now, a lot of kits that I recommend for this type of sound is this super trap kit right here. I'll have the Instagram on the screen right now if you guys wanna go get this kit. The Loom X Lewis Demon Stash kit. I've been using this all the time. Hey, bro, I know a lot of you guys want this kit. You guys see me use it a lot in all my super trap tutorials, and I can't find it anywhere i've been trying so hard to find it for y'all but i can't find it anywhere so i just put it first link in the description it's just a dropbox link that takes you to the kit i don't know who made this kit bro i'm not trying to give you a kit out for free bro but i cannot find this shit anywhere so if you guys want the kit first link in the description down below and yeah so most of these sounds i'm using today are going to be in this kit which is going to be 100 percent free it's just going to be like a gift for you guys for an example the first 808 is this one right here So this is the first 808 pattern. So without the slide notes, I just added these four 808s. And then the second thing I added to give it more bounce is these red notes right here. I just added these little stabs to give it some more bounce. And lastly, of course, I added these slide notes. And these slide notes, all I did to get it is up here. I clicked on the slide to enable them. And I just copy the note just down an octave. And remember, the longer you drag the slide note, the longer it plays to hit this note. And then the rest of the components of the first pattern are pretty simple. I have this rim. So it's just a generic basic pattern and this rim is in my coding files volume one with keon it's the same rim just at a higher pitch then i added these hi-hats And just like I said, the first pattern is very simple, so everything's kind of basic. This hi-hat pattern, I just did the two-step, except I just removed a lot of them in between to create a catchy bounce. And another big thing about creating a catchy bounce is it has to be repetitive. So if you're having it switch up constantly throughout the beat, that's not gonna be catchy because it's not gonna be like repetitive and predictable for the listener. And then this hi-hat I got from my new kit that I'm working on. And then this perk is from the coding files again. It's called the Brazil perk. Perks and effects are another big texture for these type of beats. I always hear people use like this type of perk. Just very weird textures and perks like these are always used in these type of beats. So if you guys are looking for that, the coding files only one has all of them that you need. That was basically a wrap for the first pattern. The second one, all I did is I copied it over. I clicked on this piano and then I clicked make unique. This is basically just duplicating the original pattern. And this one, I did not add any new sounds yet. All I did is I changed the 808 pattern, which is a lot more complex, obviously. And then I added the classic super trap type of like hi-hat rolls, but everything else is still the same. So first for the 808, it sounds like this. So comparing the first pattern to the second pattern, it's the same thing. All I did is I just changed the notes that we're playing. All I did is I added some more slide notes. And then lastly, the hi-hats. So 
like I said, I'm still using the same hi-hat. All I did in the hi-hat first is I went to the envelope and I made this square right here. And then this is just making it so the hi-hat has no release. So when I'm adding these small, fast rolls, it's very tight. Now for super trap type beats, a lot of the rolls are always in one fourth, sometimes they're in one third. And a lot of them have these two type of rolls. The biggest tip I could give is just experiment. There's really no rules. Place hi-hat rolls and we usually wouldn't. For this one, I just added this roll right here several times throughout the beat and just focusing on the rhythm. And then lastly over here, I just gave my own delay. You could obviously put a delay on the hi-hat, but I decided to manually do it because I felt like I had more control. Using the velocity to add that delay effect just by lowering it. That's basically it for the second pattern. The third one is a little more complex, but I just added a couple sounds. That's really it. So the second 8 way I added is from this kit right here, the Demon Stash kit. If I copy the original pattern, it's very, very similar. I just added these high notes up here. Like I said, it's the same kind of thing. I just added these top patterns right here. I just added these last two sounds right here. Now I forgot where I got the sound from. I have it in this like stash, just like random sounds I found. And then lastly, I use this perk as well. So yeah, that was basically it for all three patterns. Like I said, arrangement is key for these type of beats. So switching out your 808 or removing and adding new sounds throughout the beat keeps it refreshing and just new for the listener. As far as the mixing, I didn't put anything on any of these sounds. I just leveled them in the channel rack. And then the last thing I did is on the master. The first thing I added is the looperator and I just went to the filter, the vowel A at the 8 and the 16th. A soft clipper just having the threshold at negative 13 and the post at 90. And the last thing I added is the sound shifter. So all I did here is I just turned it down negative to 50 like i said it's just detuning the beat but that's pretty much it for the whole beat if you guys do enjoy and learn something new make sure to leave a like comment subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any more videos a lot of the sounds come from the coding files volume one kit it has all the perks and kind of textures and effects you need shout out crime for the sample follow my boy that's pretty much it make sure you guys follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys in the next video crime go crazy.